In order for Ray Fern to have any semblance of hope for his future to be better than his past, he would need a source of light to penetrate his little world of darkness. Thankfully, when Ray was 17 years old, he received a visit from a remarkable boy named Glenn. Through Glenn's father's business dealings with Lord Fern, Glenn had heard about Ray Fern's tragic lot in life. His tender heart broke for Ray before they even met. Upon meeting, despite Ray hardly being able to communicate, and what communication he was capable of was miserably abrasive, Glenn decided right then and there that he would be Ray's loyal friend and caretaker. Perhaps this was, in part, Glenn's way of coping with the trauma in his own life. Though for some time, Glenn respected Lord Grant Fern's rule to wear a quarantine suit in Ray's chambers, he removed the mask during one of his visits in a gesture to help Ray feel less alienated. It was that day that Glenn concluded definitively that Ray's disease held no risk of contagion. However, to avoid conflict with Lord Fern, he suited up on his way through the common areas of the manor, but always removed the quarantine suit before entering Ray's room. From then on, Glenn visited Ray three times a day at minimum feeding him, cleaning him, and being his one and only true friend and confidant. With a gentle heart of service, Glenn taught Ray to read and even built him a pair of crutches so that he could train to walk. Though Ray largely ignored the crutches for many years, he became a voracious reader. The empty walls and shelves of his room became home to hundreds of books, all brought to him by Glenn. Ray quickly and irrevocably fell in love with words, and his passion for reading rapidly evolved his communication skills. Ray's cantankerous disposition made life very difficult for poor Glenn, but Glenn faithfully believed that all of his efforts and sacrifices would pay off one day, and even if not, Glenn loved Ray all the same. 